In this video, we're going to answer a quite straightforward question, which is from one of the viewers of how to remove or and disable the tooltips. Now, as you can see here, the tooltips are not showing on the donut chart. And normally, the documentation is very straightforward with that. But if you're struggling, it would mean that maybe you're confusing yourself with ChartJS 2 and ChartJS 3. So let's start to explore what might be the issue and solve it right now. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' question, which is how to hide the tooltip in a donut chart in ChartJS. And this question came from Anil Kumar. A special thank you to Anil for asking this question. And for some reason, I couldn't find your comment anymore on YouTube. It suddenly disappeared. So I copied it here because I was able to find that comment in my email. So this was what Anil Kumar asked. Thank you for this video. I have uh, set up a couple of donut charts following your tutorial. So I'm happy you're enjoying the tutorials. And I am unable to disable the two tips on donut chart. Tried multiple options as per documentation and stack overflow answers. Nothing seemed to work for that matter. Any two tip callbacks are not working. Can you please help me? All right, so let's start to look here because probably your setting here is on disabling the tooltip itself. I'm not sure if this here eventually is another specific question you have because you want to do something with the tooltip. But let's start to focus on how to disable the tooltip in a donut chart. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the default code. To grab the default code, just go to chartjs3.com getting started. And if you see this, don't worry, for some reason my my Google Chrome is not working. Even if I'm on Vue.js or on Stack Overflow, I get the same error. However, on this website, if you scroll down here, you can copy this chunk of code. So copy this specific code. And then if you want to understand what this code does, please watch this specific video. We're going to paste this in here. Once we paste this in here, we're going to cut that out. We're going to put it in here. Then we're going to save and refresh. All right. So now we have a bar chart. Let's convert this into a donut chart. What I'm going to do is just to make sure because the size of the donut chart is quite big because it's a square. So I want to make sure that's 400 by 400. And then if I scroll down here, I'm going to put in here adjustment. And as I say here, donut, uh, make sure you type this correctly, donut. If I save this now and refresh, you can see now we have this nice square donut chart, but we still have these lines here, which we need to remove. So if we look here down in the scales, we can remove this because a donut chart doesn't have these kind of scales. Save this, refresh, and there we are. So now we have our donut chart, and if we hover over, we still have the tooltip here. So let's start to remove the tooltip. To do this, just to be sure, is you have to make sure you're using ChartJS3. So I assume you use ChartJS3, so you have to put in plugins. And once you are in the plugins, the next thing what you need to do is you say your tooltip. Watch out, I'm referring here to tooltip. And not two tips. In ChartJS2, we are using two tips. In ChartJS3, they change that and they make it two tip. So, and then in here, we can say here enable or enable with D. And we set here false. The moment we do this, oh, sorry, I don't want to do this one here. I need to push this up, remove the other one. All right. So, if we save this, so the moment we do this, we should be able to see now if you hover over it, you can see we hover over it, but it will not show any tooltip. And that's basically here. So maybe, and I assume there might be two things that you probably did. Maybe you're using S for tooltips, or you use here display, and you say display false, which is not the case, but if you have a legend and you want to hide the legend, display false works on legend, but not on tooltip. Why they have this inconsistency? I don't know. I guess that's just one of the uh, choices that the uh, contributors of ChartJS made. So this is basically the answer. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to make some clickable parts of this here, you can check out this specific video as well. I highly recommend this one where you create clickable bar charts with link. And of course, it doesn't have to be only links for bar chart. It could be on any type of chart, for example, a donut chart or a pie chart as well. 